was asked to make a video about how I process my data um, using the L enhanced dual band uh, narrow band filter from Optolong. And uh, well, the weather is shitty outside, so uh, I thought maybe this is a good idea to make a video about how I process my, uh, my data. Uh, well, on the screen you can see uh, Astro Pixel Processor is opened. Um, and for this purpose I will use three images of uh, 600 seconds. You can see it over here, 600 seconds exposure at a gain of uh, 200 with the uh, ASI 294MC Pro camera and the William Optics GT71 uh, telescope. Um, three images of 600 seconds um, calibrated with a master dark frame. Um, also 200 uh, ISO, ISO 200 and a gain of 600 seconds. Although uh, the master dark frame um, was taken at minus 10 degrees and um, the light frames were taken at minus uh, 20 degrees. So there's a little bit of a, a gap there. But um, as you can see, um, this is a uh, <coughs> amp glow of the ASI 294MC Pro camera at minus 10 degrees and uh, it's, um, well, if you look at this image it's quite uh, bad, but uh, in this case it will um, take out all the amp glow of the image. As you can see I have here uh, three images, 600 seconds, I will show you one of the images in the image viewer. So it's the heart nebula, you can see the M-glow on the right here, and if I zoom in, uh, well, it's a pretty pretty nice image for uh, a single sub. <clears throat> As you can see here on the right, I'm currently stretching it at a 15% background with 3 sigma and 0% of the base. Well, this is normally my settings uh, which I use for um, <clears throat> show, viewing the image in the image uh, viewer. So I already made an integration for you. This is just a normal integration with the normal settings. <clears throat> so here you have uh, three images combined and stacked, calibrated. So you can see the amp glow is, is gone. And uh, well, it looks already pretty nice. But um, for this purpose, for this video, I will show you how I um, um, integrate or split the channels from the dual band filter and um, recombine them in the HOO image. Um, so therefore, we go to, to the uh, zero tab on the Astro Pixel processor. And here at the algorithm tab, you can select HA03 extract HA. Well, the program will ask you if you uh, really, want, really want to do that. And of course, I really want to do that. Go to integrate again, and then I will integrate this. So the H alpha integration is uh, finished. I will show you the result here. It actually didn't took that long. It only took about uh, 40 or 50 seconds. So um, as you can see now, it's only HA uh, data in here. And I will do the same for the um, O3 data. So go back to raw again, to the zero tab and select HA03 extract O3. Of course, I want to do that. Integrate, integrate. And for this purpose, I will just uh, leave the video running. As you can see that the program is now normalizing uh, the three files, the three 600 uh, second frames. And after that, it will just uh, integrate. And you can see the progress here in the, in the field. And the uh, really app is a nice program and actually it works uh, pretty fast fast. <clears throat> Checking results and voila integration of the O3 data is finished. So this is the O3 data compared to the HA data. As you can see the HA data is uh, of course uh, much more prominent than the O3 data because there is just much more HA information in this nebula. Um, so what I will do now is I will combine these uh, HA data together with the O3 data to generate HOO uh, image. And therefore I will go to Tools. Here you can find the Combine RGB. We will do that. Now the program will ask you to add the data. Go to Add. <coughs> I have to 
go to the, the folder where I'm working from. In this case, it's under uh, Color Soul Nebula. Well, we are actually not uh, processing the Soul Nebula, but the uh, Heart Nebula. And let's see. Oh yeah, here you can find uh, the, the, the normalized data for uh, O3 and uh, HA. So I will select the first the HA data, open it. Program will ask you to uh, which color it should be. Uh, in this case, it's going to be red. Okay. Then I will add the O3 data. The O3 data will be assigned to green. And again, O3 data will also be assigned to blue. All right. So once I have assigned all colors to the right channels, um, I can push calculate. And the program will now calculate how the image is going to look like. The HOO image. And this is basically what you get. Well, you can fine tune a little bit the, the, the settings. Um, uh, Sarah Wagner has uh, made a very nice video which you can find um, on the Astro Pixel Processor website on how to do that and uh, how to get more color out of it. So for instance, I can put more blue in the red channel and also more green, which in this case is also um, 0 03. I can do calculate like this. And basically what you will have is that the O3 and the, and the, the O3 data is uh, more incorporated into the uh, red channel. Um, but in this case, I will just leave it like, uh, like this. So I'm, I'm not going to play around with this, uh, with this data over here. All right, so this is basically my HOO image and I will just save this image as it is. I will create this first. All right, so now it's creating the image can close this panel again and now my integration is here at the bottom all right we'll save this again and I will name this one heart H O O. Okay, save it as a TIFF file since we have to process this image further in uh, in Photoshop. And I normally save it as a, as RGB 4.0 and 16 bit. So now it's saving. So, okay, welcome back to uh, processing the uh, HOO data of uh, the Heart Nebula, which I showed you in the video before. And now it's time to just process the HOO data in uh, program um, Lightroom and uh, Photoshop to give it uh, a bit of a, well, more natural uh, look. So therefore we have to open this photo in Lightroom. Just open Lightroom here. This is the photo we saved and then we do import. So basically this is the photo we just, uh, um, well, the channels we just combined in, uh, in Astro Pixel Processor. And this uh, image we are just going to uh, process in Photoshop. So I open this photo uh, in Photoshop. So here we go. <coughs> and now I will just duplicate this layer like this. And first thing I always do is like uh, I would like to uh, make the stars a bit smaller, so therefore I use the astronomy tools uh, plugin. Um, and then you have uh, well a bunch of tools which you can use for astrophotography. In this case, I will just use the make stars smaller uh, tool. Click on the uh, process button here under underneath. Just make the stars a bit smaller. You can make them even slightly smaller. Another step. 
have to point out that uh, if you use this tool, um, also you will lose a lot of uh, uh, some of the resolution. So um, the image comes out a bit uh, more blurry. But in this case, uh, I will like it. So as this is before and this is the after. So nebulosity is coming out a bit more, which I like. And then I merge these layers together. Again, I will copy this layer. <coughs> And um, with the Select and Mask tool, I just select a color range. In this case, I will select the uh, red nebulosity of the HL, HA data. <coughs> okay. Again, select, select and mask. All right. And then I will add a layer mask. And in this case, I can do the color range or uh, curves if I open curves. Can make the nebulosity brighter or darker if I want. In this case, I will bring bring it up a little bit more. Get a little bit more contrast image. Don't blow out the highlights too much. So I like it like this. And again, I merge the first two layers. Go back a bit. I merge these two layers and always leave the background uh, untouched. So I merge these layers. Again, I will do select, color range. So again, select the, uh, the, the reds. All right, well, this time I'm not going to mask it further. Just add a layer mask to it and then I do color balance. So what the color balance do, you can, um, well, play with the colors and select um, how you like it to be. Well, what you normally see is uh, that this um, nebula is always a bit pink. And match it uh, with the HA uh, colors. But you can also go for a more um, S S2 O image if you like whatever you whatever you want but uh, it just shows you what you can do with the color tool always have to be careful a bit how, uh, how you set the colors but it's basically all uh, about what you like and how you want it to turn out well I like it this way it's all about taste actually and if you like it, then it's fine. There's nobody who has seen this um, this nebula with his own eyes because it's just uh, 1500 light years away, or maybe even further. So everybody is just speculating about the colors, and uh, well, it doesn't really matter what you think and what you uh, how you color it. But yeah, you can just uh, play around with this uh, stuff. Well, for this purpose, I just. Uh, Merge all the layers, and then I will save it. It will automatically be uh, saved into Lightroom as well. So what you can do here is just, uh, well, like the shadows, make the shadows a bit more dark, or uh, the, the highlights a bit lighter. It's just, uh, it's just your imagination how you will color this image further. How you like it. It's not that I'm uh, doing rocket science here, it's just uh, sharpening to taste and reduction, color noise reductions, things like that. And always uh, in the bottom of the screen of uh, Lightroom, you have the, 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 the channels, the reds, uh, the greens, and the blues, and you can always play with that a bit to get a, well, even more natural looking image or in this case it's not really looking natural to my eyes but you get the point so just be creative and uh, make your own nice uh, HOO palette from it so we started from this and we ended up with this well, it's a bit uh, oversaturated uh, according for my uh, my own feeling so uh, this would also not be how I would 
save this image, but for the video it's fine and uh, you get the point. Well, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully you learned something from this video and uh, see you next time. <laughs>